She's a rapper, she's an actress, she's a hotline psychiatrist, she's BK's finest. Welcome our friend, Jungle Pussy. Hey! Yeah. Oh, I love Thank that. Thank you. you for being here. I love a surprise intro. <laughs> Because you Hot do that phone like number. I know. <laughs> on the ground, I saw. That, have you guys seen that? That was so fun. Like that really helped me. I know people was hype, but I was more hype. Like to talk to them I, was so fun. No, like it was like a regular conversation, not like oh, like I love your music, blah blah blah. Like we were just talking, like we went to school together. Like it was wow. Like, I mean, that's how you so make friends people. sometimes. Like, you just well, like, I'm like, what you cook? They like this is what I'm cooking for dinner. I'm like, good, and they put like. It's like, ew, you put sour cream on your hot dog. Ah! Close the window! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ready? Hard hitting questions. How long do you massage your kale? Do I massage? Before you make a salad. You know, when you. You're supposed to massage it? Massage it, yeah. I actually stopped eating kale last year. Because Why? I feel like it makes me bloated unpopular really? opinion but I'm like drinking kale feel right that. i think it's different for everybody but i don't know for some re- so now i'm really obsessed with um just spinach i've, spinach. I've replaced my kale addiction for spinach and arugula okay. I love arugula. And those two are like... Arugula is my... I just had arugula pizza. It's just... It it really is just the best. I love arugula as my favorite lettuce. I could replace it for no, really, maybe like, every I lettuce. I made a painting Same. that's called... You just made a song about arugula, right? I made a song about arugula, but then last summer I made this painting <clears throat> about arugula. This came first. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is a painting. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes! Oh my god! <laughs> and this yeah, I did before... Well, painting. I did have the song recorded before this, but I didn't have a mm-hmm. name for the song until... I was like, damn, what should I name the song? And I was eating arugula and I was looking at this and I was like, Ugh. that's the one. Love is just it's like arugula. Like, no, but really, I was getting all deep. I was like, yeah, like, love is just like it. It's like bitter and then it's sweet oh. and then it's spicy, but then it's so good. Oh, that's such it's a good analogy. Though. Yes. It is. Yeah. And it's addictive. It yeah. totally is. <laughs> addictive. An acquired taste, too. No, acquired really. taste, when yeah. I was younger, yeah. I was like, now I'm like, I just need a little arugula on the side just for that. Mm. Yeah, just it's like a palate cleanser. Dry, in between, in between yeah. bites. Just right. a- I love, yeah. love, love it. Oh, it's oh. the best. <laughs> so so the, best. the best. My next question was, how are you staying insane during quarantine or sane or whatever is most comfortable i'm letting myself like just do whatever i want but not in a reckless way like i'm trying to remain nice to myself and not overthink or feel like there's something i should be doing because um You know, that's just the energy in the air. Like, everybody is like, oh, but like, when this shit is over, I better learn French and knitting and da 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 da. da. And I'm like, maybe, maybe not. Like, I yeah. love that attitude, I honestly. Wow. Like, so many this. people are stressing about that. Yeah, I've been like, myself up. I refuse to stress myself over something that I'm sure the government knew about for like over a decade. And could have yeah. avoided. So now that just because it's here and like everything is hitting the fan, I'm supposed to also hit the fan as well. No, I had enough hitting of the fan at the end of 2019, which is a let alone this pandemic you that know? like brought it out of fucking nowhere. I was like, like yeah. I don't my, like wow. I just I just I'm not gonna fall for it. But I am like not gonna let that take away from you know everybody else's anxieties and whatever's i'm like trying to be patient with friends and loved ones who like you know you have to check in and then when you do they're like ah, ah, and i'm like I'm actually everybody's going control. through it in their own way you know so i'm trying to not like let my way be the way but it is very helpful for me to just do what i want like Paint, draw, write music, write poetry, free write, read a book, mm-hmm. watch whatever show I want, do my hair, take pictures, FaceTime boys, FaceTime a friend. Yes, totally. Do whatever. Like, oh, 
but then check in with like, yeah, just literally all of those things. And I feel like just by doing that is just going to allow me to just whatever, whatever is going to needs to happen will come from that because I'm just like, being graceful with yourself. And yeah. I'm giving yeah. mad gratitude. I've just been even, like, I've always been, like, super grateful for every little thing. But now I'll just be like, oh, my gosh. Like, I woke up and I'm not sick. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Like, yeah. So I feel like gratitude is such a like, important thing to, like, just, like, pr- like to, like, yeah, to practice. Because I feel like a lot of people forget to practice that. And then they, like it makes them go insane because they're not practicing what you're grateful for. Like Mm -hmm. this is a time that you should be practicing gratitude more than ever because we have the time to practice it. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be stressing about anything. And we're so incredibly lucky right now. And I almost feel like this time is almost really nice. It's like a time to stay healthy and take care of ourselves (laughs) and like enjoy what we like to do. And like we, can't really work and it's just like we should just do whatever we want to do right now and because we're doing that like of course we're forced to not work essentially but the bigger picture is we're doing it to help everyone else who is sick Mm -hmm. i try to remember that like people feel like them being inside is just like just but it's like you're actually helping like would you rather be in the hospital god forbid like or your love like give thanks for these things like like you said before when we were like just rushing here here there and there it's hard to really look at the scope of things but Mm -hmm. i've really been just loving finding all the new things to be grateful for every single day just even my Mm -hmm. friends even when they are sad just not holding that against them like yeah everybody everything just being grateful for everything as it is like as it is I love that. Mm-hmm. When you wake up in the morning, full of gratitude, and you look at your phone. Well, I try not to right away, but yeah. Good! <laughs> Good! It's hard. So it's hard. after you it's eat hard. your arugula, <laughs> your morning arugula, and you get yourself <laughs> correct, Uh huh. do you check who watches your Instagram stories? Oh, absolutely. Or check to see if your crush watches first your Instagram all, stories. First of all, when I was like <laughs> getting... It trying to get decent for this i was like well you should hurry up so that you can have a little bit of time to see if so and so looked at your story and then maybe you could look at his but i was doing all i was like no sheena like just look later tonight like you have stuff to do you gotta clear your mind for this Mm -hmm. we have time to think about this also so it's it varies at the beginning of quarantine there was somebody that was always watching my stories and i was watching theirs and then we had a quarantine Mm -hmm. check-in and he was kind of like like not really checking in on me and I was like oh well mm. this is like it's over because essentially it's it's like low-key it's not the end of the world but if you were like in another I don't know how to explain it but it's like check on me like you yeah should be like are you okay do you need anything and you're just like oh um yeah I went to the store and I did it and I'm like wow like so selfish like you don't know what I'm doing if I have water or crackers or anything. So after that, I stopped watching that guy's story. And I was really just like, whatever, like, I'm fine. I don't need anybody. I don't want to be in quarantine and longing for somebody who's all the way across the city anyway. So whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just minding my business. And then I just got another crush. (laughs) I just got another crush like two nights ago. Oh my and god, a fresh one. That's I know, really fresh. Really fresh and are they, just looks are they so watching? Good. They're watching your story. They're watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna ask you. <laughs> you already watching. answered the question. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> but wait, can I ask you guys? But what do you think that means? I feel like sometimes I don't want it to get to my head. Like just because they're watching, yeah. you can't really. I mean, take I that. think that yeah, I just think that's hard. Like some, you know what? That's a good question because sometimes I think about that. But like, it's also like, also it's people are bored. Pos- yeah. Also, like so sometimes, like, is like I feel like thing? the algorithm is like is also weird in general. Like I don't understand. Like it's like how it mm-hmm. works. You know yeah. what I mean? Like some people where I'm like, why isn't like. Like their story, them. like sh- showing up, like when like they're like mm-hmm. my best friend, or like I like love them so much. Yeah, right, my yeah, best friends. Why isn't their post popping the up on my story, kind of thing? Like, 
or on my feet. Like, yeah. 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 That happens a lot with me as well. Yeah, it's weird. But yeah, I try not <sighs> to take it like too per like, oh, you're watching me, you're looking, because it's like essentially you should be FaceTiming me and really checking in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stalking. Just look, just want to watch me just like everyone else. It's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> seriously it's real though no really i guess it like it's a fine line between like just watching me watching me watching me and actually like peeking and then engaging and then peeking again and engaging some more for me it's so easy to just like go through the feed and just like they just keep playing and i'm like disengaged but i'm actually like wait these are like people i know why am i like not right in so the now world, we're why I'm present in the world them. yeah Okay, I have a question for you because I really, really want to know. So where did the name Jungle Pussy come from? Because we were talking about our name earlier and, like, it's such a good name. We have, like, a little bit of that connection. Mm-hmm. Where did it come from? It's so it good. It literally I love it. just came from me finding, I mean, just loving animal prints, loving, mm-hmm. just loving them. But, all right. So one night I was, when I was in college, I just got my MacBook and I was just making mad videos on photo booth. Just every day I was making a video on photo booth, put it on Facebook. And there's a two second video. It's literally only two seconds. I have on, I went thrifting and I found this sweater with like fuzzy leopard patches. And I had on, my mom had this fuzzy leopard hat and I had it on and I just like, the video's two seconds. I just say, this is Jungle Pussy. And that was it. Like, two seconds. Yes. And then, oh my then, God. then and then you know, like I always just love animal prints, whatever. And then when Twitter came out, I was like, Well, I want a name. My name on Twitter at first was Tits and Bits. And then I was like, oh, Tits and Bits. Well, really Tits, yes. and, bits. tits and Bits was like Tits and Bits. Tits and Bits in like high school. That was like me and my friends. We're like, oh yeah, we're gonna have a band and it's gonna be called Tits and Bits. So Tits and Bits was the name then. But then I was like, oh no, I need something for myself. I was like, what's a name nobody's gonna take? And I was like, oh, yeah. I'm pussy. Heck. That's really how <laughs> it came one. to be. And then I was just living my life. Like I was still going to college, still is working retail, like whatever. And um people started to just like me for me. I wasn't really doing my own music at the time. But um mm. when I did, I was just like kept the name. People were telling me to change it like peers, like other artists who like claim yeah. that they're uh. with the shits. They were like messaging me. Like, mind you, my first song I released on Hulk Share. Like Hulk Share is, I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, it's me just like a, basically like a Dropbox essentially, but you just share the link and that's how people get your music. Like it was before. Right. That's a cool Dropbox. way of doing it, honestly, though. Right? Was that yeah. cream? Huh? That's cream. Was that cream? cream yes, team? yes, yes. Cream team. Mm-hmm. Wow. And so I just put it up there and I just like did a video with my friends, put it up on YouTube. And I was like on Twitter one night, like, yes, I'm about to drop my video. One ass song on Hulk Share. And people was DMing me like, no, don't be Jungle Pussy. Ch- you should change your name. Be Shayna. Oh my God. And I was like, I literally didn't even do anything yet. Like, I, need oh my God. <laughs> I have a fucking so song on Hulk Share and you want me to stop now? And I was kind of like, why? Like, I was always just like, well, why? But why? And right. then also, like, yeah. what name is, but like, what better name? Like, There's no better there name. There's no better okay. name. There's like, no better name. You know and you know. Be a yeah. cop out. I was like, no. Y'all acting like, no. So, yeah. That's the song we Wow. I love it. I was also wondering, has having a sexual name affected your romantic life or sex life at all? Absolutely. Entirely. <laughs> Whoa. Entirely, entirely. Uh-huh. I feel like I um, definitely didn't realize, you know, like starting to do my own music and saying the things I was saying. I was like 20, 21, and it definitely impacted, I guess, me too. Like, I was just more like in my own world, like, whatever, I don't need these guys, like, I wasn't seeking, I wasn't going out to be in places with guys, like, I'll just be, like, in my own bubble, and, Mm -hmm. um, and then it was, like, the thing, like, I just started to grow and grow, so that just naturally made all the guys feel like they can't access me, and I was, like, I, 
I wasn't about to water myself down or do anything to make them feel comfortable. So I was like, oh, mm-hmm. it, yeah. is, it is what it is. I mean, whatever. But Take it, I yeah. didn't realize it. Like, I really didn't see it or notice it. the impact it had until, like, um, last year. The end of last year. Because even last summer, I was doing some shit. But, yeah, <laughs> end of last year, I was like, oh, oh, no, like. Yeah, this is this is not a problem, but I'm like, oh, I see, like, I see, oh wait, I see, I see, you I see, see. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's so funny. That's so but funny. I feel yeah, I mean, like I... I'm interested to know, you know, like when the Hollywood children they grow up, they're like, yeah, like, I just didn't have a childhood because I was in Hollywood, and I feel like, yeah, Jungle Pussy very much like I didn't miss out. I feel like I was protected from a lot. But ah. it like kept a lot of certain kind of guys away from me because they knew they couldn't like you know pull their right. shit on me. So I was just yeah, like, like it's is... like those strong people. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Wow. It's a litmus test. I feel you. I feel you with no, that really attitude. It yeah. is. So I was That's like... where we're at too. It's the same thing. It's like weeds out who can grasp you or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. But that's where I was going with that. It's like you know with with your name and with our names too. Like we have these situations where. People clearly aren't comfortable with women talking or, or being around their own sexuality and feeling empowered by it. Um, but mm-hmm. I know you're a really empathetic person, and sometimes there's this line. It's like, do you ever like, have you sat down like with your uncle and like try to like bring him into the light and like explain to him like what you're doing, or do you just like you're like no, this obviously we're not on the same frequency and I hope you figure that out on your own. Uncles never asked. They do. Yeah. They seem to just be like, my uncles never asked really, or any family. My family is pretty, I don't know. It's like, they're not like so wild, but they kind of just like know or like seen me grow up and they were just like, Oh, jungle puss. Like they don't think anything of it. It's weird. Or maybe they're like, Oh, that's just Shayna. Jungle Pussy, Shayna, yeah. same thing. Yeah, I don't know. Totally. Like, but the women in my family have always been like, my dad, he has six sisters. My mom, she uh-huh. has like all sisters. And it's just all the women in my life, they've always been like very me. So it wasn't like something that they had, I had to explain to them. But other guys, awesome. like, just guys right. in the of world. People you don't, don't know. I mean, do you feel yeah. responsibility to like be like, listen, no, Alan, like, no. no, I feel no, no. responsibility. One time yes. there was a situation where a guy that I like grew up with, I saw him out or some shit and, and I didn't even know he was like listening to my music cause he's just like a guy and he's like, uh-huh. yeah, like, yeah, I heard that. And I had just dropped the song. I think it was a long, long time ago. I dropped picky bitch checklist and he was like, yeah, I heard that song you drop. And like, yeah, like, I don't like that. It's like, it made me feel bad about myself. Like, and I'm like, well, it's not for you. Like, it's for yeah, women. And I was yeah. like, that. And then it really struck me because I'm exactly. like, oh, so the guys are listening. And then they're like, they're realizing that, you know, they're doing some fucked up shit. And then they're coming and be like, oh, mad at me because I'm pointing at yeah. you. Yeah, mad like, at you. That's crazy. Because, like, they've That's, never heard something it. like that that threatens their power it's before. A- and it's they're so confused and traumatized by no, it. No, really trauma. And I was like, wow, like, I didn't even know that you were, it was going to impact you like that. Like it's for yeah. us. It's to empower. I feel us. like it reminds it reminds me of like when we like got like we like we did this bill. Like we've done a few different bills. Like where like they like refuse to write our name on it. Like they refuse to write come yeah. on it. Like come girl eight. But then want to like, pay us to perform. Like what? Do you- and, or like they'll like say like, like cam girl eight, and I'm like, why can't you? Why is cam girl okay, but why isn't come girl okay? Like, Are you, you know what I mean? Kidding like, me? Right. Have, you, this have that- you ever had somebody like censor you like that on like a bill? I've never had any any promoter censor me, but wow. one time somebody I was playing, I played a show in LA in September, and one of the DJs, which was another woman, she was promoting the flyer and she censored my name, and I was just like, oh. "Girl, why Weird. you set the flyer?" A DJ too. Yeah, the flyer is not censored, but she censored my name, and I. I was just, and tagged me, and then tagged me in it in a way that, like, you couldn't see, like, 
you tagging me anyway, so we will see his own pussy, but then you're you, censoring you touch my name. You touched the pussy word. <laughs> so it's just like, people just really kind of get weird about it. I also, well, I used to believe this. Now my higher self, I see what it is and it's okay. But I feel like even people, when it comes down to sharing my stuff, like I don't get censored on things, places that book me, but I feel like people who may really like me, they'll be like, oh, well, I don't want to share this because my friends are going to think something or my followers are going to think something. So I do believe <clears throat> even though I don't think it, it doesn't affect me, it doesn't bother me anymore. But I do believe like huh? a lot, there's a lot of people who love me and they censor me. They do the censoring. Like they censor me from the world. And then that's when people are like, oh, how did I know about Jungle Pussy? I'm like, well, because people are ashamed to share or follow um, or align themselves they you. and confirm. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like when you align yourself with people, artists like us, it's like, you're really drawing the line and people just rather just straddle the fence. So yeah rather straddle the fence yeah yeah wow and i'm i'm straddle it we're lucky to live in such a liberal and progressive place but i think in a lot of places like they probably are scared to be open about what Mm -hmm. they believe in because it's it can or it's like even like that life. DJ, that DJ could be scared because their mom is like, you know, very religious and they don't want to like be seen right. like with that yeah. name associated even on their account, even though like that sucks that they feel like that. But like it's a, at the same time, it's just it's to, for, uh, to each his own, you know, it's ha- it's a hard thing to realize, but it is beautiful. All these things are beautiful and they should be celebrated, you know, rather than have yeah. such a negative stigma around them. And I have... Another question about your arugula video and your spider video that you recently put out. But we were talking about um, Genesis P. Orridge earlier, and in the Psychic Bible, they talk about spiders and how they represent female power and their elaborate ma- elaborate mating rituals and stuff. So I was wondering if spider symbolism and that power was something you thought about when you were making those videos. Well, when I recorded the song... I recorded Spiders in 2016 in the summer. It's like July 2016. Super all all my newer stuff, besides Arugula, which I did last spring, but all the stuff I'm about to put out is from 2016. And Mm. I recorded it in Greenpoint with Nick Hook. I love him. And when I was, he was like, Were you at Strange Weather? Huh? Were you at Strange Weather? What's that? Oh, studio. Yeah, it was great. Oh, Strange Weather. I think they're like they're like three studios in that building. I think. Oh, Um, really? Somewhere in Greenpoint, but no, I wasn't there. Um, but yeah, so I recorded Spiders, and I was like, I just recorded it on the couch with like an SM7, and he was like doing something, like fixing something, and then I was like, I I had Spiders as a just a word written in the lyrics, and then something just told me I was like, hmm, like. Let me just look up oh, spiders. What is what's the symbolism? And then I was like, oh my gosh, this song is gonna be called Spiders, and the whole project is gonna be called Spiders. It's gonna be eight songs, <laughs> and it's just gonna everything's gonna be wow. in and done and done. Mm-hmm. I was like, I just went off on this thing once I realized what si- what spiders it meant. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, just the divine feminine creative energy and like making stuff like just weaving this like meticulous beautiful work of art and in private like you're not doing it out for the world to see but when people come mm. across it when you stumble upon a spider web you're like oh my gosh like this is whoa mm-hmm. and you know also like yeah. the spider silk being just like one of the strongest fibers ever and the, wow. the women, the female spiders being bigger than a man. All these things. <laughs> I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm a spider. All this time, I'm a fucking spider. <laughs> spider this yeah. whole time. I know. And I just really went off. But then it got really meta. Ooh. And the shadow side starts. Because I really went. I was just like, spider, 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 spider. I was seeing spiders everywhere. I was just like Sus. getting like somebody just randomly sent me like this just earrings and like one of them was a spider and the other one was a beetle and like I just they just started popping up. I started seeing them in real life. I'm like, no, don't kill it. Da-da-da. But then like yeah. not bad stuff started happening to me, but it was very like loopy and spidery and it I wanted to put that song out like immediately all these things like I wanted to do immediately and the spiders would not allow it 
Um, wow. I like shot this nah. video. I helped shot this whole video in this dungeon in Bed Stuy in like 2017. And this whole crazy thing, like somebody, this woman ran away with my footage, and I was just so shocked that like a woman would do that to me. And I was That's just scared. Fucked. It really scared me too because I was like, I don't, I've never met or worked with any artist who like gets something done and then sabotages it. So it was just like all these lessons I had to learn. And I was like, well, that's not cool. I was like, now I'm not putting out spiders. I'm doing a whole nother thing. I just went in this, I put out JP3, which was like not as experimental as I wanted to be. But at the time, I just think I just had to let that go. And now that was awesome, though. Everybody. And now the timing is just, it's just better timing for spiders and everything else that I want to roll out. But yeah, that symbolism played a major role major part i had to like fall deep into it cut it out and then be comfortable enough to bring it back and luckily because of the visuals that i did for jp3 i was able to meet this girl um katie caitlin arthur who did the visuals for spiders and arugula and she is just so she just gets it and i'm just so grateful we met and we wouldn't have met like because her her partner worked on a video with me before and i was like i need somebody to edit and then, like, because I had footages that I had from before. It was just all this stuff. I was like, but I want to create something new. I want her to make it her own. She has to have her own eye, her own stuff. Also, <laughs> Raisa did your makeup for that video, Yeah, too. Raisa. Raisa, because she did both. She, she did the makeup in 2017, and she did the makeup with the prosthetics in October. Wow. And we She's shot it so at the top amazing. of Raisa October. So talented. And the thing with the song, so I was like, I wanted to put it out for my birthday for Halloween since mm-hmm. I did it in 2016, I was like, yeah, it's come off my birthday, come off my birthday. And all yeah. these birthdays would pass and it still wouldn't be out. And I'm like, man, screw this. But it was Shit. definitely like my biggest, it was such a good lesson for me. And I was also like nervous sharing like my new sound with people and they really liked it. And I was like, all right, I got some more of that. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> When's the next single coming out? I know, yeah. right? So ugh, everything got all like crazy because of this. Because right. I did have a next single that I wanted, but I really like last weekend. I was supposed to be in Chicago shooting these crazy visuals for this new song, and I'm just trying to let go of those visuals that would never happen anytime soon now, uh, and create something else mm. to inspire me to push this next song that I want to do. Got to come up with some quarantine visuals. Yeah. I know you uh, can do it. Right, you got it. You got it. Yes, you got it. Yes. You got it. You got it. Yes. Thank you. I feel the energy. To, we can't wait to see it. Thank you. Yeah, Let it come. You, everything you do is amazing. Let so. it come. Thank you. You got it. We're such big fans. Mm-hmm. It's true. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wait, can I ask how you guys got your name, Come Girl A, or what does it mean? This is yeah. actually a good time to talk about it. Yeah. So funny you asked. We forgot to talk about it. Yeah, I forgot to talk about it earlier. Um, so. It started with the idea of a friend of ours. They uh, were going to like set up um, a online dating profile. And it was, was going to be Smart Girl 8. Which is like a, like an idea, and then I like always thought it was so funny. Like it's like okay, like an online dating profile name, like for like a like name, of, you know, like or like mm-hmm. an aim name or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then we were like, "Smart girl eight sounds like dumb," you know, like it's like yeah. not like. And then we were like, "Well, <laughs> we dumb, dumb kind of smells like." And we were and then gum. It dumb sounded like gum. So then so we were like, oh, like, "Gum oh, girl eight is kind of funny." And yeah. then, and then we were like, wait, no, gum, like, sounds, like, dumb still. And then we were like, why don't we make it, like, hardcore, like, We're just throwing girl. words I'm out. Like, come. Yeah. I love yeah. it. And That's then we are so like, perfect. and then we all looked at each other in the studio. We were just like, <laughs> That's, That's it. it. We knew. Come, come girl, aid. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Can't be anything else. See, I love yeah. the stories are really, it's so, like, it really just, just comes together happens just, yeah. Yeah. yeah and then like and then it embodies it and then it embodies you you feel like then you have to like talk about it in a way that's like it's you now yeah because you because like forces you, when you, you to sta- take on when you stand energy. by something like that's that's provocative like that you feel like you need to back it up you know mm-hmm. what i mean you like you're like you know what i do stand by this this i believe mm-hmm. this, you right know? and then like the lines <laughs> aren't blurred and that's what i love about it it's just so like it just makes everything obvious, like, duh. Mm-hmm. Like, this is- and then it makes everybody understand, like, or 
like or at least like myself and for i think we all can like agree like it's like an idea of like being more woke about the situation as well like yeah like, so many well, people are like aware just setting back like setting and back and being like so chill about like things like and it's like or like not even speaking up about things because nobody's like feeling like they need to like talk about it you know mm-hmm. I think also once you cross that line, like we've crossed the line, you've crossed the line, we've crossed the line. <laughs> it also kind of makes it easier now. It's like you're, we're already liberated. So now it's like do it. Um, yeah, and I yeah. don't know. I think we're kind of we challenge each other a bit, too. Like how far like we're trying yeah. to get our music on uh, certain platforms right now. And it's like, <laughs> you know, obviously that wouldn't have happened if that was our name or even, like sonically too. like really like adding incorporating different elements that I think that if if we were gum girls or dumb girls, I don't, I don't, it would never, it wouldn't it would be sound there. that fucking freaky, exactly. you know, it's yeah. really like, that feels it's strong. So we don't yeah. care. Even, even if we were doing the same visuals and the same graphics, which they still would all be the same thing. It's like, it won't like, it's almost like the name, like, it's like, you know, like, I think it's, it's an interesting idea. I don't know. I think it's a fun thing to play right. with. Like if yeah. it was, if I was like pretty pussy, <laughs> Yeah, like yeah, not the it's same. a different vibe. It's just not the different same. Vibe. It's not the same. It has to be jungle. It's gotta yeah. be jungle. <laughs> it's gotta, gotta be. be. Jungle. I'm so glad you went with jungle. I know. And pussy. Yeah. Together. The two, the two together yeah. are they're Is... go- two gorgeous things. You're right. A sacred union. <laughs> a sacred union. <laughs> we made we made these uh, comic characters too, like. I feel like gum girl you know it sounds like a superhero right. so you've got the storyline and and girl. we're all like these like these characters that I come for enlightenment they come for enlightenment yeah mm-hmm. so, and then the eight place. is like to reach like, the sun, you know to get yeah, there like and the infinity, eight is like infinity yeah. on its side yeah when we first started we were originally four so we we're like it's eight because each of us represents the masculine feminine sides of ourselves but then you can turn eight on its side and it's infinity because the possibilities are endless. and then the number eight for spiders the divine feminine yes yeah, spider OMG, i love it i love it Thank you, Shayna. Thank you. Jungle Pussy. Sorry. Yeah. Shit. Thank you, Jungle Pussy. This was so fun. <laughs> this yes. was fun. Thank, oh, thank you, you for sharing. Yes. Thank you for having me.